Uh, here's an update on our uh, radio here. Mike is figuring out how to make the base for or block uh, out, huh? Thereabouts. Yeah. Well, Still not what I got. Him and a uh, little dirt bike, huh? Three nine. They two. There you go. I'll tell you how I did it. If it makes sense. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. So you you know that the radius is twice one of the sides, all right? And the way you know that is that if you divided this into six mm -hmm. equilateral triangles. So Matt, can I use a pencil? Yep. Imagine that this is one of your triangles here, yep. right? So if you know that this is six, this they're is all six. six. They're all six. So your radius is twice the. I mean, I'm sorry. Your diameter is twice one of the sides, all right? So we know that that's 12. Do you agree with that? Yep, they cross yep, between yep. the two far points. Yeah, right. so then we just use the Pythagorean theorem. 12 squared minus... What theorem is that? Pythagorean theorem. 12 squared minus 6 squared. Uh, that gives us 108. And then we just take the square root of that, which is... 10.392. You sure? Yeah, and show, sure. Me, show me on here where that line is, because I don't need to know this. Yeah, I didn't. I need to know that. Right. Right. So, get rid of this line here. Mm -hmm. I think you wore the eraser out. I know. So this line here is 12. Mm -hmm. So this is a right triangle here. Mm -hmm. So that's oh, Okay, there you go. And then you go ahead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Roger that. Okay. okay. So that's how it's done. Roger, now, Roger. We now we just got to do it. Yep. All right, we'll get back to these guys when they start getting something done. All right, we made a prototype here at a block, but we think it's a little too big. We'll have to cut it down a little bit. It is. Yeah. Made a little bit big so we could have some extra clearance, but we'll do a little bit more work, notch a little more, uh, a little more material out of the blocks, and then we'll be able to shrink it by about three inches. Yeah. So. It would look okay if we made a, a six-cylinder, Mike. It would, but, uh, but we're not going to do, that. do right now. Yeah. All right. Now let's cut this down, make another prototype, and uh, maybe some other day we'll do that. We got other things to do right now. Yep. All right. All right. Me and Mike decided uh, what shape we really wanted this thing in. Instead of a, a complete hexagon, it's going to be a, a irregular hexagon, right? Yep. Hexagon. Yep. Yep. Not all sides will be equal. Right. I think it'll look better, it'll be more proportioned, and uh, let's see what the crank looks like, Mike. See what you got going on there. Mm -hmm. Show them the crank? It's not, uh, not nearly done yet, but right. uh, Show the that's pretty much what it's going to be, and this is going to be the master rod. All One rod's going to be solidly connected to this aluminum piece, and the other two are going to be jointed. Right. So, and then I'll be spinning around in there. Okay. It's coming. Yeah, that's all. So far, that's all we got. Next, I guess our next big thing is just trying to make the block. All right. It'll be a small update. It'll be good enough for you guys. Keep you happy. All right. See you later. Bye now. All righty.